Hello viewers, welcome to our channel JD Pharmacoveda. In this pharmacology classification section, let's continue the classification from corticosteroids. So the corticosteroids are a class of steroid hormones that are produced in the adrenal cortex of our body as well as the synthetic analogs of these hormones. There are two main classes of corticosteroids, one is leucocorticoids and another one is mineralocorticoids. These hormones are the steroids involved in a wide range of physiological processes including stress response, immune response, regulation of inflammation and the metabolism of carbohydrate, protein and likewise the blood electrolyte levels and behavior. Okay, now let's discuss the drugs. The corticosteroids are classified into two classes, glucocorticoids, mineralocorticoids based upon the duration of action of these steroids the glucocorticoids are divided into three the short acting glucocorticoids are hydrocortisone or cortisol then the intermediate acting glucocorticoids like prednisolone methylprednisolone triamcinolone defloxa cort then the long acting corticosteroids like dexamethasone and beta methasone now let's discuss the mineralocorticoid drugs. The, the drugs are desoxycorticosterone acetate DOCA, fludrocortisone and aldosterone. Okay now let's discuss the topical steroids so which can be applied over the skin. So based on the potency the drugs are classified into three. The potent topical steroids are beclomethasone dipropionate beta methasone benzoate, beta methasone valerate, halcinonide, clobetasol propionate, flucinolone acetonide, fluocartolone, triamcinolone acetonide, dexamethasone sodium phosphate. Then the moderately potent ste topical steroids like fluocinolone acetonide, fluocartolone, clobutasol butrate, momentasone, Fluticasone propionate, hydrocortisone acetate, 2.5 percentage. Then the mild topical steroids like hydrocortisone acetate, 0.1 to 1 percentage, hydrocortisone butrate, 0.001 percentage. Okay, now let's discuss the androgens and the other hormones. So we know that androgens are steroid hormones that regulate sexual development and reproduction in humans. They are produced in the testes, ovaries and adrenal glands. Let's discuss the drugs. So the androgens are natural and synthetic. The natural androgens are testosterone, dihydrotestosterone, androsterone. Then the synthetic androgens like methyl testosterone, fluoxymesterone, mesterolone. Then the anabolic steroids like methanedienone, nandrolene phenylpropionate, nandrolone decoinate, oxymethylone, stanozolol. Then the anti-androgens like drugs like cyproterone acetate, flutamide, bicalutamide. Then the last category is 5-alpha reductase inhibitor. This 5-alpha reductase is an enzyme that converts testosterone into dihydrotestosterone. So we have to inhibit this We have to inhibit this enzyme. So the drugs which inhibit this 5-alpha reductase enzyme is phenosteride and deutasteride. So now let's discuss the drugs used for the treatment of erectile dysfunction. So first the androgens like testosterone and the other androgens we discussed previously. Then the phosphodiesterase 5 inhibitors. This phosphodiesterase 5 inhibitors which block this enzyme and in increases the cyclic GMP level in the smooth muscle cells. So the drugs are sildenafil, tadalafil, vardenafil. Then the drugs which act as a vasodilator in the intracavernosal area, the drugs are papaverin phentolamine aprostadil or prostaglandin E1. If you like our video, please like, enter your thoughts in our comment section, share with your friends. Thank you.